Joan, Joan revealed um, details that she hasn't revealed before, I believe. Uh, she, she did, yeah. Do you want me to answer? Go ahead. Oh. Yes, I think um, the thing that was the uh, toughest for Joan uh, was the fact that she was pregnant. Um, she'd already had, uh, she had three, th three kids already, and she'd already had three miscarriages. And she had been on bed rest, as she told us, with getting shots in her rear regularly to keep pa the pregnancy with Patrick. And um, Patrick was two years old at the time, and Ted asked her to accompany him to Mary Jo Kopechny's funeral in Pennsylvania. And Joan described the bumpy airplane ride, the small plane. And when she got back, she uh, miscarried. And um, to this day, she is, you know, that fills her with pain. Um, and I think she resents that and um, attributes that to that, that airplane ride. And her obligation to go with her husband to Mary Jo Kopechny's funeral. Yeah. She said she was expected to be there. Does it surprise you, Jenna Russell, that the level, the depth, the depth of blame that goes on many years later from uh, those who, uh, who look at the senator? I mean, you hear these stories. I was, I, was, I was in Alaska. I was visiting my old home in Alaska last year, and the first thing out of somebody's mouth when we brought up the senator was, he let that girl die. Stunning to me. But anyway, does it surprise you? I think it does surprise me, um, it, and part of it, I, I feel like, comes out of the fact that there were such high hopes for Kennedy before the accident happened, that he was going to take that mantle and he was going to be the guy who was going to get to the presidency. And there's bitterness because of that, but there's also, I think, bitterness because of the, the sense that too much it's been seen as his tragedy, when really the tragedy was the death of this very talented young woman. High hopes, those hopes never died. Those hopes, there were hopes that he was going to get into the 1968 race. There were hopes he was going to get into the 72 race. He didn't. It was seen as too soon. There were hopes, there were, there, there were hopes, uh, Sam Ellis, that he was going to get into the 1976 race. He didn't do that as well. Then he finally gets into the 1980 race, and he doesn't seem to be able to articulate why he's running, and he doesn't seem until, the, until he's lost to do anything right. That's exactly right. Uh, I have to say one thing about Chappaquiddick, if I could, because uh, it leads right into this. Kennedy and his close advisors in the Let summer. A little closer. Go ahead, I think. Go ahead. Of 1979, when he was deciding whether he was going to run or not, they made a catastrophic mistake and concluded that Chappaquiddick would not be a major issue. They couldn't have been more wrong. <laughs> 